This is Kyle Martin Paintings. Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kyle Martin, and we're heading out into the field today with the dogs. I'm sticking on my property today, and I'm following the trail back to the banks of the Baraboo River for some late evening plein air painting. The biggest problem that plein air painters have had since the beginning of time is figuring out and picking a location to do your painting at. When I first started painting, I had some places in mind that made some really good places to paint. And then after I had extinguished all those places, it really forced me to dig deeper. And I think that there's a couple of things that I'm always looking for when it comes to finding a place to paint. We're gonna keep walking down by the river. We'll talk more about how I choose places to paint, but I'm gonna focus on walking and getting back to the painting location and getting set up. I'm set up and I have my drawing done on the canvas and now it's time for me to mix up some of my colors. I found this location two days ago when I was walking with the dogs around the banks of the river down here. I don't normally walk this far down along the river, but on that day for some reason I just wanted to follow the river down and see if I saw anything that could be a potential painting subject. This view of the river was really striking to me, and so I took a photograph and I made a note of it, and I knew that I wanted to come back and paint. There's going to be a really amazing quality of light happening at this location in about an hour, and so I knew that I wanted to get set up and get the painting started before that beautiful light happened. What I'm looking for in a painting subject is a good arrangement of shapes and a, a good quality of light and shadow. The thing that I look for more than anything else is just a subject matter that has a nice arrangement of dark and light. And also something that's easily seen. This is a very complex scene, but because I'm standing about 50 feet away from anything that's going to be in the foreground, it actually makes those shapes into easily seen puzzle pieces that I can just put together on the canvas. All right, let's move forward. I am going to mix all of my colors. Welcome back. We're out here for day two. You can hear that the cranes are back. Some more tips that I have for selecting subjects for plein air painting. Look for subject matter that lends itself to the language of paint. So what I mean by that is stand back from your subject and squint your eyes. And I squint my eyes almost to the point where I can't hardly even see out of them anymore. And what that does is it creates a low res image of your subject matter. You can see the big underlying shapes. And if you have shapes that are easily seen and there's a good amount of contrast between them, you have a subject matter that is gonna work with you as far as the language of paint. With oil painting, you use big chunky brushes and it's a thick paint. It's really fun to make really bold and tiled brush marks with your big, sturdy, stiff bristle brushes. And large, easily seen shapes will work with you and not against you when you're setting up to paint outdoors. Another idea, and one that I'm working with today, is to be at least 50 feet away from 
your subject matter. And I think in the Carlson's Guide to Landscape Painting, he even suggested that you stand 50 feet away from where the foreground is going to start in your painting. On a day like today, there's bare branches. It wouldn't be impossible to paint all those with oil paint. Somebody can do it and people probably do do it, but it's not really natural to do that, especially not in a session where you're working rapidly because the light is changing. By standing back 50 feet, those bare branches, it, they become shapes of value and color that you can observe and make decisions about when you're painting. It just saves you from adding in too much detail and by standing back from your subject at least 50 feet. It's going to give you a better arrangement of easily seen shapes to work from. Another tip that I have is to just get yourself to an area that you think is going to be a good area to paint in and spend an afternoon or an evening just taking photographs in that area. That's how I found today's painting location and it's how I find a lot of them out here on the farm. For me it was nice spending the evening a couple nights ago walking along the banks of the Baraboo River during the golden hour and there was such a nice light happening and it was really streaming right down the river and illuminating some trees on the opposite bank of the river. But I had to find a place that had a good arrangement of shapes. And so in the half mile stretch of riverbank that I walked along, there was one area that I felt had the strongest shapes. So I was sure to get a photograph of that location. And I also did a, just a really small pencil sketch that kind of talked about my inspiration and why I thought that was a good location. Use some quick techniques. Anytime you see a subject matter that is interesting to you, you can easily get a photo of it with your phone. And if you can take a couple notes or do a quick little sketch, anything that is going to help you to remember what you saw that evening, that's a good way to hunt down your subject matter. Especially on an afternoon like today, when the light is going to be very beautiful, it's really important to be able to remember how beautiful it was in the moment. Because photographs, oftentimes, to me, they just don't bring back the feeling of being there, of seeing this illuminated scene in the flesh. You can write about that, and that's what I'd recommend, is just jot down a little bit. How did your subject matter make you feel? What was the main idea about your subject matter that made you feel that way? Those ideas can be helpful in finding and remembering your subject matter for the next time that you come out and paint. located my painting location and I saved my tripods out here. I left my tripods out here from last night and the way that the river is rising right now I thought maybe that the water would come up this high but I mean that would have been quite a jump but you never know around here. I'm gonna go ahead and get started painting.
I'm finishing up in the field today. This is the first painting that I worked on while I was out here. And here is that second one that was painted during the golden hour. Yeah, I'd say that probably the best thing that you can do to find subject matter for plein air painting is to just get outside during the late evening or the early morning and have a look around. Bring your camera with you. Take some shots so you can remember where you are. Just take a small sketchbook with you. Something you can fit in your pocket. If you see something that's great, make a note of it and come back during the same lighting conditions on another day when you're ready to paint. That's what I did down here. And I finished up a couple of paintings that I'm happy with. Well, I'm gonna cap this video off here, everybody. But thanks so much for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you soon.